To me, form and function are one. They meld together. It's not like they're isolated, they're not in conflict, they're, they're a marriage. Welcome everyone, I'm Stephen Ehrlich. I'm Nancy Griffin. And I'm the architect for this house, the 700 Palms House in Venice, California. This house has many influences and it actually in some ways is a summation of a philosophy that I've developed called multicultural modernism. And it actually evolved a uh, long time ago when I lived in the 1970s for six years in Africa. And all of those experiences led me to learn about aspects of culture that makes this house unique. And one of them is courtyards. It's very much a courtyard house. And I loved living in courtyard houses in Africa that were very sustainable because it, we didn't pump the rooms up with air conditioning, we actually opened up doors, had thick walls, cross ventilation, many, many fundamental passive solar strategies. And by the way, this house has no air conditioning either. It has three distinct courtyards that are all uh, very much a part of an indoor-outdoor relationship of space and a connection with nature. The materials that have been selected are organic, they're natural. All the steel in the house just weathers naturally. It's not coated. So outside it's rusted, inside it's just kind of has its own patina to it. The floor is concrete. All the heating is embedded. It's radiant heating in the floor. And the color of the floor uh, was created by impregnating iron oxide into the concrete on the day of the pour. So the color of the floor is this beautiful chocolate brown. Our three cats who are architectural accessories, they match the floor. They particularly love walking down the stairs and over the bridge and seeing what's going on. And they look great when they come down here. They, and they, they seem to know how to make a grand entrance. Designing a car has to be an amazing challenge. It's a refinement that has to evolve completely integrating the engineering and performance to the nth degree. This house has a lot of moving parts. Everything kind of has a duality to it. It has double meaning, double use. My garage is actually my man cave. It acts not only as a garage, I do park my car there pretty much every day, but it is also a gallery for my uh, African baskets and gourds that I collected years and years ago. It's an extension of the courtyard. It completes the house. The pool creates an evaporative cooling. You get this very congenial, naturally cooled environment, which I love. But we also have big, huge shades on the west, southwestern side of the house. What that does is it actually blocks a lot of the sun. The heat is being dissipated past the glass line of the house. The other thing about it though is that it's this huge splash of color. The colors were actually inspired by the souks where they dye wool in Marrakesh. It really feels like an urban refuge here. When we moved to Venice, it wasn't as busy as it is now, but this place has always just been very tranquil and quiet. For us, it's an urban oasis, and in a way, it's a place to escape. And we also love living with the art in our house, which is also a form of escape. Pretty much every artist is a friend of ours, and that creates yet again even a stronger connection to the art. The house is my transformer that I get to play with every day. So I can open, close it, shades up and down, and I'm tuning it up for the time of year, the type of weather conditions, but it's also a, a living, breathing organism that I get to uh, be a part of. 